All right, welcome folks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install GNU Octave. So go to your favorite search engine, type in GNU Octave, that's G-N-U Octave, maybe even the download one, but I'm just gonna start with that. Uh, top hit here, uh, octave.org. I'm gonna go straight to the download page right here. While I go through this, uh, GNU Octave is basically the free version of MATLAB. Um, it's open source and it does most of the things that MATLAB does, but for free. Now, what are the downsides? Well, downsides are uh, the interface doesn't look as tidy as with MATLAB. Uh, it might not be as well optimized in certain situations, and it, there might be some features that MATLAB have that Octave does not, but the price is right. All right, so I came to the downloads page. All right, so I can just click on this link right here, and I'll be directed to a mirror site. So this is just a different site where I can download Octave from. Now, it can be overwhelming with all these options. Uh, let's see here, what do I actually want? Yeah, so since I'm installing for Windows, I clicked on that Windows link. It looks like the most recent version is actually at the bottom here. So this is Octave version 8.2.0. Yeah, so I'm gonna click on that one. Octave 8.2.0, W64 installer. I'm not getting the SIG one. Uh, I'm not getting the 7-zip or the zip file. I just want the installer. The installer.exe is gonna take care of all the installation for me. So I click on that. All right, I'm gonna speed through this on the video and I'll put up on the screen how long it took me to download. While we're waiting on this to download, I will note that uh, written instructions, text instructions are gonna be in the description of this video and every video in this series. You can also find a link to the playlist. I'm gonna be going through a complete course in MATLAB, but you can also do most of this stuff in Octave and I will be noting very clearly when something does not work in Octave uh, that it might work in MATLAB instead. But a link to that whole playlist is gonna be in the description and I hope the course will be good for both Octave and MATLAB users. All right, it's downloaded, so go ahead and open up your downloads folder, however you do that. All right, there's the installer. I'm gonna double click on it. It's gonna ask me if I wanna allow this app to make changes. I say yes. I'm gonna go to a basic setup screen here. Let's click next, next. Uh, I'm gonna install for anyone using this computer, next. All right, I'm gonna leave all the settings as default. Now these two check boxes though. So this one, first one is create a desktop shortcut. You know, that's up to you, whatever. It depends on how you like to organize your apps. The next one, register.m files with Octave. What this means is that any files that end in the .m extension, if you double click on them, they'll automatically open in Octave. Now these are MATLAB type files. If you're primarily gonna be using Octave and not MATLAB, then you definitely want this checked. I am going to leave it checked right now, but when I also install MATLAB, I'm probably just gonna leave it as default with MATLAB instead of with Octave, which will override this previous setting. All right, next, install. I just use the default installation folder. It's in program files and that works fine for me. I'm gonna speed through this. I'll put up on the video how long it took me to do the install. All right, now Octave has been installed. I'm gonna unclick the show readme. I don't care to read that right now, but I'm gonna keep clicked the run GNU Octave and let's open it up. It tells me where my configuration file is. I've never had need to edit that, but I don't know if you need to, then there's that. Go to next here. Let's go to next. All right, and finish. It's just giving me a little bit more information there. All right, here's what GNU Octave looks like. The icon is this blue circle with some orange boxes and an orange circle right there. If you wanna pin it to your taskbar, right click, pin to taskbar. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, and so here we have, uh, in the upper left, we have the folder that Octave is currently looking at. So if we wanted to open any files, that's where uh, the files would open from. Our workspace is where we're gonna see any data that's kept in memory. So variable names and the information in those variables. On the right over here, we have the command window. So we can type in octave commands, I don't know, x equals four plus seven, and hit enter and get our results there. Now currently the font size is teeny, teeny, tiny. The very first thing I'm gonna do in the next video is set up my settings, set up my preferences. I wanna try and keep these videos as short as possible. There's gonna be a link in the description to the entire playlist. The next video should be settings and preferences in Octave. The video after that is gonna be downloading and installing MATLAB. The video after that is gonna be settings and preferences in MATLAB. And then we should be getting into some actual programming.